The depths of the world's oceans are deep depths indeed. So deep that strange things are found in those depths. These are the 20 most terrifying things recently discovered underwater. Number 20. Omaha Flooded Elevator Following an Omaha storm, three Nebraska people narrowly avoided being trapped in a flooded elevator. One Saturday, an Omaha guy boarded his apartment elevator with two buddies to see storm damage. Water began gushing in through the vents as the elevator opened, according to Tony Liu. As they waited for rescue services in that high water, Liu contacted his roommate for assistance. Liu and the others were saved when his roommate and two other individuals managed to unlock the elevator door from the foyer. They were all unharmed. Flooding can occur as a consequence of an overflow of water from a water body, such as a river, lake, or ocean, when the water overtops or destroys levees, allowing some of the water to escape its regular confines, or as a result of precipitation accumulating on wetland in an area a flood. While seasonal fluctuations in precipitation and snowmelt will affect the size of a lake or other body of water, these changes are unlikely to be deemed important unless they flood property or drown domestic animals. When the flow rate of a river exceeds the capacity of the river channel, particularly near bends or meanders in the waterway, flooding can occur. Floods in natural floodplains of rivers can cause damage to houses and businesses. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. A former Navy officer tells us what he saw while diving in the Arctic, and does so via this image. As you can see, it shows a rather creepy mermaid corpse. Isn't it horrifying? What would you do if you found this on a beach? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag JuicyTopic. Number 19. Sea Spider That Suck On Prey Scientists are baffled by strange, spider-like organisms that dwell on the ocean's bottom and consume their victims with a straw. Some of these marine spiders are blind, and they defy scientific classification. Dr. Claudia Rango, a marine scientist at the Australian Museum in Sydney, believes that these are arthropods, but which type? She recently presented her findings on these strange and little-known species at a meeting of the Scientific Committee on Antarctic Research in Hobart. They are very weird-looking animals, Arango explains. Scientists have been debating how to categorize sea spiders, or pycnogonids, for over a century. They creep over the seafloor sometimes more than 6,000 to 7,000 meters below the surface, feasting on slow-moving soft-bodied sponges and sea slugs in the dark. Because the organisms have segments and an exoskeleton, they are classified as arthropods, which includes crustaceans, insects, centipedes, and spiders. They do, however, have a peculiar set of characteristics, including a unique feeding system. They have a proboscis that's like a straw that they insert into the animal and suck out the juices, Arango explains. Such characteristics make it difficult to classify them into any of the known arthropod groupings. They look like spiders, but they are not real spiders, Arango explains. It's been very hard to place them in a position within the tree of life. Number 18. Flying Shark If the fear of sharks wasn't enough for the ordinary swimmer, diver, or surfer, flying sharks are sure to add to the terror. The only group of great white sharks in the world that performs these jumping feats on a regular basis may be found in False Bay in Cape Town. These massive sharks, on the other hand, aren't taking to the air as an evolutionary adaptation to collect birds in the air or locate hapless swimmers along the coast. Instead, they breach in the same way as whales do as part of their hunting strategy. Seal Island is located in False Bay, 
As the name says, this location is home to a large colony of seals, which are a favorite diet of the Great White. This prey has a high body fat content, which is great for delivering extra energy to the sharks. Sharks typically startle their victims by attacking from underneath. This is helped by the fact that its top body is quite dark and blends very nicely with the dark ocean depths. Furthermore, when swimming, few creatures gaze down. The Great White gets up a large amount of speed from deep below when it spots a seal on the surface of the water. As it makes its journey over deep ocean waters en route to or from the island. Number 17. Marine Flatworm Marine flatworms are intriguing yet basic animals that live in the world's waters. These tiny worms, which range in size from a fraction of an inch to around three inches, may be found on coral reefs all over the world, but some dwell at much deeper depths. Blacks, pinks, blues, reds, greens, and yellows are the most common colors. They are frequently seen snuggled into nooks, although they can sometimes be out in the open. Because their brilliant coloration alerts predators to their toxicity, many species are quite safe in open environments. Many marine species feed on the marine worm, which lives at the bottom of the oceanic food chain. The oceanic particle is the primary food source for the marine worm. Marine worms, on the other hand, are skilled predators that consume fish, snails, crabs, and clams. Water bugs, notably diving beetles and juvenile dragonfly larvae, are one of the many predators of these flatworms. Flatworms are also commonly eaten by crustaceans, small fish, and tadpoles. These reddish-brown flat worms may be seen on the tank glass, sand, corals, and just about everything else in the tank. Flatworms do not consume or harm corals, but if they are allowed to multiply in large enough numbers, they can prevent a coral from receiving adequate light. Number 16. Lancet Fish Are Cannibalistic Hermaphrodites when an evil-looking fanged fish washed ashore alive on the coast of Jeanette's Pier in Hogshead, North Carolina, visitors were startled. A long-snouted lancet fish, a nocturnal predator rarely seen near shore, has been identified as the monster fish. The fish are noted for their enormous teeth and towering dorsal fin, as well as their propensity for consuming other fish. Little is known about its life cycle, since it is a very uncommon fish that lives in the open ocean. Lancet fish are hermaphrodites in their adolescence, having both male and female sex organs, and there is no evidence of adult hermaphrodites. Because of its huge, jagged dorsal fin, which spans almost the whole length of their back, lancet fish are also known as handsaw fish. The fish have no scales, and their skin is covered with pores rather than scales. They can reach a maximum length of 2 meters. Lancet fish feed at night and consume crabs, squid, and smaller fish in addition to other lancet fish. Seals, sharks, and other large fish, including tuna, feed on the lancet fish. They're not considered a nice fish for human eating, but rather a trash fish that occasionally eats bait meant for more lucrative catches. Number 15. The Devil Scorpion Fish the filament finned stinger, also known as the barred ghoul, two stick stingfish or devil scorpion fish, belongs to the Animicus genus of venomous fishes. Also, the animal with the coolest bunch of nicknames, these ben thick fishes can be found on sandy or silty lagoon and seaward reef substrates in tropical ocean coastal locations. I filamentosus, like all other Animicus species, is a demersal ambush predator. They are nocturnal, and during the day, they will typically burrow themselves halfway into the sandy bottom. Oh, 
Adults range in length from 13 to 25 centimeters and weigh up to 880 grams. The devil scorpion fish is an ambush predator that feeds on piscivore. It is nocturnal and during the day it can be found half buried on the sea bottom or on a coral head, concealing itself with sand and other detritus. There are no natural predators that it is aware of. It fanned out its vividly colored pectoral and caudal fins as a warning when startled by a scuba diver or a possible predator. It is hesitant to leave its hiding spot once dug in. When it does move, it has a peculiar subcarangiform locomotion mechanism. It crawls slowly down the sea floor, using the four lower rays of its pectoral fins, two on each side, as legs. Number 14. Faceless Fish during a journey to one of the lowest parts of the ocean ever visited, Eastern Australia's abyss, scientists discovered a faceless fish. Scientists on board the HMS Challenger, a research vessel that toured the waters near Papua New Guinea in 1873, discovered the first specimen of the species. Australia's Museums Victoria and the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization are leading the current project, dubbed Sampling the Abyss. A total of 40 scientists participated in the month-long project, which focused on marine species found at depths of up to 4,000 meters. Meters. Some preliminary results have been released, including a slew of species thought to be novel to science. According to AFP, over a third of the specimens brought up thus far are totally new, according to Museums Victoria's chief scientist, Tim O'Hara. The faceless fish is uncommon. Despite the fact that it is not new to science, O'Hara commented on the discovery, saying that because it is so black at such high depths, more organisms living there don't require eyes. It hasn't got any eyes or a visible nose, and its mouth is underneath. He remarked of the faceless fish. Number 13. The Peanut Worm any member of the invertebrate phylum Cypuncula, a type of unsegmented sea worms, is known as a peanut worm. The mouth is at the end of a retractable introvert on the head. One or more rings of tentacles normally encircle the mouth. Peanut worms range in size from a few centimeters to 500 millimeters or more. They may be locally prevalent on seabeds throughout the world seas, despite their rarity. Peanut worms are bottom-dwelling creatures that dig in mud or sand between tides or in the oozes of the deepest ocean channels. Peanut worms have a muscular trunk that varies in form, from cylindrical to globular, as well as a slender anterior introvert, retractable proboscis, that is muscular, extremely extensible, and capable of being retracted into the trunk by retractor muscles. Hooks or spines can be seen towards the introvert's tip, while glandular pores and papillae can be found all over the trunk and introvert. A lengthy elementary canal spirals backward from the mouth to the posterior area of the trunk, then forward to the dorsal anus towards the anterior end of the trunk, within the body cavity. The tentacles are connected by a contractile vessel, or compensating sac, that extends forward from the esophagus. Number 12. Lizard Fish Lizard fishes are benthic marine and estuarine bony fishes that belong to the holopiform fish order, which includes 15 extant and ancient families of marine ray finned fish. They may be found all over the world in tropical and subtropical marine environments. Lizard fishes are typically small, with the biggest species reaching a length of around 60 centimeters. Their bodies are slim and rather cylindrical, and their heads resemble those of lizards. The dorsal fin lies in the center of the back, with a tiny adipose fin closer to the tail. They have sharp teeth all across their jaws, even on the tongue. Lizard fish are benthic invertebrates that live in shallow coastal waters. Even the deepest dwelling lizard fish species exist in seas less than 400 meters deep. Some members of the Harpodontinae subfamily dwell in brackish estuaries. They enjoy sandy areas and have body colors that assist them blend in with the surroundings. 
Lizardfish larvae are free-swimming creatures. The presence of black blotches in their guts, which are visible through their translucent, scaleless epidermis, distinguishes them. Number 11. Chimera a chimera, sometimes known as a ghost shark, is a cartilaginous fish related to sharks and rays that belongs to the Chondrichthys class. Chimeras have cartilaginous skeletons, similar to sharks and rays, and males have external reproductive organs derived from the pelvic fins that are used to deliver sperm into the female's body. Unlike sharks and rays, chimeras have a single external gill hole on each side of the body, which is covered by a flap similar to bony fishes. Male chimeras have a supplementary clasping organ, the tentaculum, on the forehead and in the front of each pelvic fin, which is unusual among fishes. Chimeras may be found in all oceans temperate to cold waters, from rivers, estuaries, and coastal waters to oceanic depths of 2,500 meters or more. They have poor swimming abilities and are sensitive when captured, dying soon once they are out of the water. Small fish and invertebrates make up their diet. Females deposit huge elongated eggs with horny covers to protect them. Chimeras are edible and are sometimes marketed as food. Guns and delicate tools used to be lubricated with their liver oil. Chimeras are assumed to have disappeared after the Devonian extinctions, which occurred 360 million years ago. The oldest chimera fossil is a skull named, <clears throat> bear with me here, Dwekasaliusthu. Is any <laughs> that was unearthed in the Karoo area of South Africa in the 1980s and dated to around 280 million years ago. Number 10. Caroli Fish the spookfish is another name for the barrel eye fish, which should give you an idea of what sort of species we're dealing with. This does not imply that this fish is a CIA operative. It's a different type of spook, as in a creepy looking fish with strange eyes. The eyes are barrel-shaped, as the other name implies, and they face directly upwards, which is more strange. This fish doesn't need to watch where it's going, it only has to gaze up to see what's going on above. This permits them to hide on the bottom and keep an eye out for any prey that comes too close, then attacks before it can flee. They can then simply swivel their eyes forward and continue if necessary. This fish's family name is Opisthoproctidae, which is Greek meaning behind anus, which is a whole other part of this strange species that we won't go into here. These fish are also renowned for being thieves that would take food from other fish, so if you see a lot of them, you know you're in a terrible part of the ocean and should get home before nightfall. Number 9. Skulls found in evil Maya sinkhole. Mayan archaeologists have uncovered a startling find in a cursed pit that the ancient civilization thought led to the underworld. The so-called entryway, which is actually a cenote, or sinkhole, was discovered in the Mexican hamlet of Telchequilo, just south of Mayapan. College of St. Rose archaeologist Bradley Russell and a group of divers fearlessly climbed down 20 meters into the unknown. The team, on the other hand, had cause to be wary. Dr. Russell explained why the sinkhole is referred to be evil to National Geographic. To this day, people do not drink water from that cenote. It is generally considered taboo, he remarked in 2014. It's off limits, parents don't allow their children to play near it, and there are a lot of myths about this cenote having bad or malevolent spirits linked to it. Cenotes are significant because they are a primary source of water. The strange artifacts they discovered were subsequently disclosed by Dr. Russell. At the moment, my assumption is that these were just typical funerals from individuals who died on the surface. The Mayans were skilled in construction, mathematics, and astronomy. In addition to their belief in the afterlife, many of their spectacular structures may still be seen in the jungles of southeast Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and western Honduras, dating back to 2000 BC. Number 8. Giant Black Smoker Hydrothermal Vent 
A hydrothermal vent is a crack on the seafloor that discharges geothermally heated water. Geothermal vents are typically found around volcanically active locations, spreading centers, ocean basins, and hot spots where tectonic plates are moving apart. Rocks and mineral ore deposits generated by hydrothermal vents are known as hydrothermal deposits because the planet is both geologically active and possesses enormous volumes of water on its surface and beneath its crust, hydrothermal vents exist. Hydrothermal vents under the sea can produce structures known as black smokers or white smokers. The regions near subsurface hydrothermal vents are physiologically more productive than the rest of the deep sea, frequently housing complex ecosystems driven by chemicals dissolved in the vent fluids. Chemosynthetic bacteria and archaea sustain a wide range of species including giant tube worms, clams, limpets, and shrimp at the bottom of the food chain. On Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus, active hydrothermal vents are known to exist, while ancient hydrothermal vents are considered to have occurred on Mars. The black smokers are high-temperature hydrothermal vents found by a team from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography using the submersible Alvin in spring 1879. The RISE mission studied the East Pacific Rise at 21 degrees north, with the intention of using the Alvin to test geophysical mapping of the sea bottom and discovering additional hydrothermal region beyond the Galapagos rift vents. Number 7. Alien-looking creature transforming near ocean floor at over 3,700 feet. A video of a strange monster that morphs underwater has gone viral on the internet, shocking internet users. The footage was shot by a remotely operating vehicle at a depth of 3,753 feet in the Indian Ocean and uploaded to YouTube channel Captain JRD. According to the video's description, the footage was shot on Africa's east coast and has not been manipulated. The video became viral in 2013 but it has just reappeared online. The clip starts with the item floating in the water for a minute and 18 seconds. The morphological characteristics are unlike those of any other known species. The item gradually transforms into a black ball-like shape as the film proceeds. It expands up from the circular structure after a while and then elongates. Various colored lights may be observed moving through the item. Its fin-like features are slowly spreading out the item becomes entangled in the output from the ROV thrusters at the conclusion of the movie. Number 6. Zombie Worms Ocetics Bones are more appealing to zombie worms than brains. In 2002, Ocetix worms measuring 2 to 7 centimeters were discovered dwelling in the bones of a decomposing gray whale on the deep sea floor about 3,000 meters below the surface. More Ocetix species have been discovered since then, bringing the total number of Ocetix species to 26, according to the World Register of Marine Species. Zombie worms absorb lipids within mineral bones rather than eating them directly. They don't have a mouth or a stomach, thus their eating manner is considerably different from ours, their skin secretes an acid that dissolves bone, releasing the fat and protein locked therein. The fat and protein are then digested by symbiotic bacteria residing in the worm's bodies. It's unclear how ocetics obtain nutrients from bacteria. They might just eat the bacterium, or nutrients are delivered to the worm in some way. Ocetics are best known for taking some of the remaining nutrients nutrients from whale carcasses that have fallen to the bottom of the ocean, although they don't distinguish between bones. They've also been discovered on fish bones and have colonized shipwrecked cow bones. Number 5. The Silphra Crack the Silphra is a rift in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is the diverging tectonic border between the North American and Eurasian plates. It is located in Iceland's Ingvallavatn Lake, which is part of the Ingvalir National Park. Silphra is located in the Ingvalir Valley, which is also home to the Ingvalir National Park. The valley was produced by the diverging tectonic movement of the Eurasian and North American plates, as was Silphra itself. Every year, the plates drift roughly 
roughly 2 centimeters apart, creating stress between the plates and the Earth mass above. This strain is alleviated by massive earthquakes that occur every 10 years or so, causing cracks and fissures in the Ingvalir Valley. One of the largest and deepest of these fissures is Silfra, which is located on the rim of the Pingvalavatn Lake. A significant aquifer is intercepted by the Silfra fissure, which supplies many springs at its base. Caves have developed within the fissures as boulders and rocks have fallen into the growing holes. Silfra's clean water and position within the continental rift make it a popular spot for scuba diving and snorkeling. Number 4. Apollo 11 Engines Massive engines that sent humans to the moon more than 40 years ago have been retrieved by a private expedition led by the founder of Amazon.com. They were assumed to be lost forever on the ocean floor. We found so much, said Jeff Bezos, the online realtor CEO, in a blog post on the Bezos Expedition's website. We have seen an underwater wonderland, an incredible sculpture garden of twisted F1 engines that tells the story of a fiery and violent end. One that serves testament to the Apollo program. The five F-1 engines that powered each of the launcher's first stages fell into the Atlantic Ocean and sunk to the ocean when NASA's massive Saturn V rockets were launched on missions to Earth orbit and the Moon in the late 1960s and early 1970s. They were supposed to stay there indefinitely abandoned, then a year ago Bezos claimed that his private and until then secret expedition had discovered what they thought were the engines from the 1969 Apollo 11 mission, which kicked off the trek to land the first humans on the moon. Number 3. Underwater Base Jump Prepare to have your jaw dropped. Guillaume Neri, a daredevil base jumper, chose to take on a gigantic underwater sinkhole, popularly known as a blue hole, in the Bahamas, and filmed his experience in an awesome clip. Dean's blue hole, at up to 115 feet wide and 663 feet deep, is the world's deepest blue hole, and Neri went directly into the heart of it without any oxygen tank. The film was first released in 2010, however it has lately gained popularity with over 24 million views on YouTube, although some reports claimed he had reached the bottom of the massive hole. He conceded that he never did because the distance is so far as to make it impossible. This movie is an artistic project, a fiction. In any case, the footage of Neri descending into the enormous abyss is breathtaking. Number 2. Locomotive Graveyard We've all heard about the railroad graveyards, but have you ever heard of one that's submerged? Check this out. There's a deep sea railroad cemetery off the coast of New Jersey. Two locomotives that went missing in the 1850s are buried beneath 90 feet of water. Paul Hepler discovered this graveyard by mistake in 1985. He was using a magnometer to map the ocean's depths. When the gadget flew above the graveyard, it detected two massive metal objects, which turned out to be the trains. At first, I had no idea what it was because the water was dirty and visibility was so poor. He told the publication, I could see they were locomotives after I had a better look at them on later dives. Experts studied the trains in their watery resting place despite the thick water. The locomotives appear to be Planet Class 222 T-types, which are quite rare, a model that was only manufactured for a brief period of time, owing to the sad circumstance that they became obsolete practically as soon as they were manufactured. They were self-contained miniature locomotives weighing around 15 tons. According to Dan Lieb of the Philadelphia chapter of the Explorers Club, they were built for power, but were too tiny for the period. Other locomotives on the market at the time weighed 35 tons in contrast. The fate of the two steam engines, on the other hand, remains a mystery. There are no historical records of them being lost. In fact, there are no historical records of the engines ever being built. It's possible that the documents containing those facts were lost or destroyed in an accident, or that they never existed at all. Number 1. Flying Spaghetti Monster 
A supreme entity lives beneath the surface of the water off the coast of Angola, or simply a strange-looking marine monster. In August, BP oil workers discovered the tentacled beast at an oil rig more than 4,000 feet deep off the coast of Angola. In homage of the fabled modern-day god, the workers dubbed the creature the Flying Spaghetti Monster. The National Oceanography Center in the United Kingdom examined the tape and determined that the creature was a siphon for, not a supernatural entity. Invertebrates like jellyfish and sea anemones are closely linked to the pasta-like creature. The total of its elements is far greater than a siphonophore. In reality, none of its components could work alone. Each siphonophore is made up of a colony of separate pieces known as zooids, which are formed as a siphonophore, grows, and remain attached. Some of them create rope-like chains that can reach the length of a whale. In this colony, each zooid performs a specific specific function, some hunt prey while others digest it, and still others spawn, swim, and maintain the colony upright. The end product is a biological miracle that makes us rethink what it is to be an individual in the first place. Over 175 species of siphonophores have been discovered in environments ranging from near coastal regions to the ocean twilight zone and the sea bottom, according to scientists. Deep water animals are frequently dark orange orange or red in color, and bioluminescent, shimmering green, blue, or occasionally red, which attracts prey. Siphonophores utilize their many tentacles to sting and catch their victims, then inject the poison to render them unconscious. If you've ever handled a Portuguese man o war, you're probably aware of this. Because of these characteristics, many people mistake siphonophores for their jellyfish cousins, although they are not the same thing. Will you ever go in the water again? What's the scariest thing you've ever seen in the sea? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.